So all this table has been in the valley itself? This, all, all the items on this table have been seized here in the Rio Grande Valley. Your money may be supporting transnational criminal organizations. Channel 5's Christian Galon sat down with Homeland Security investigators who say you need to take a closer look at what you are buying this holiday season. The reports of entries like this one online, flea markets, or those kiosks in the middle of the mall. HSI agents tell us the U.S. economy loses about a billion dollars every year because of illegal products that make their way inside, and you could be buying them. Whether it's their favorite sports jersey, the latest ear pods, or the iconic purse, it's the season of giving. So all this table has been in the valley itself? This, all, all the items on this table have been seized here in the Rio Grande Valley. Agent Mark Lippa tells us some of the items you are buying might be giving money to national or international criminal groups, all from fake products like these cups. As these are brought in, they don't meet U.S. standards, and we don't really know what metals are in them. Some of these metal products have been found to have lead in them or other carcinogens that can be very dangerous to us. All of these items brought here illegally and could be sold at your go-to shopping center, like these game systems with the reputation of exploding, or these vape pens that Lippa says could contain harmful chemicals, and again, the so-called Gucci purse, which even has a certificate to prove it, but it's fake. So Christian, trafficking in these goods is a serious offense. It's actually punishable by up to 10 years in prison. We asked people to see if they knew what they were buying. People try and sell me things that are imitation, and they deceive me. Maricela Casanova says she encounters it all the time. People selling fake things, especially at pulgas, but because of her budget, it leaves her with no choice. I don't like buying expensive things. Sometimes we just don't have the money, so we have to buy them. She adds luckily those cheap things haven't come with any costly punishments, but for now she will be vigilant about what she is buying. I asked you earlier, how can people validate or make sure when they're going out shopping this time of year that they're buying the real stuff? Right. If people want to validate it, their best bet is to know who you're buying it from because it can just be so difficult for a person to be able to verify it. For Lipa, he says they will continue to try and get these illegal products up the streets, but they need your help. It's all about shopping smart while you're at the store and also online. You have to make sure you know who you're buying from and also you can validate your products through the manufacturer. If you want to give any tips to HSI, visit us at krgv.com. In Progreso, Christian Colon, Channel 5 News at 6.